Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you watched my previous video, you will know that I jumped onto three games that originally were on the very weird and unusual Megaduck guys. The Megaduck or Cougar Boy as it was known in South America. I say weird because it was one of them ones that was fighting the Game Boy along with the supervision and what have you, and just didn't stand a freaking chance, did they? Now, these are what we call Hong Kong originals, meaning they were systems made in their own right with their own library in Hong Kong. Now, very often they did, of course, do basically games that were clones of other popular games at the time. So, there was actually some pretty stellar games on these Hong Kong originals guys there really was and I'm going to show you six this time from the Mega Duck again or Cougar Boy if that's how you knew it at the time uh, this weird and wacky little handheld guys that was trying to knock the Game Boy and failing miserably just like the supervision but what we're going to be doing guys is this is an emulation video uh, as I said in the previous video, I don't own a Mega Duck, I don't own a Cougar Boy, and, uh, you know, unless I get very lucky, I'm probably not going to in a hurry, because they're very, very expensive, because there's very few of them left, guys. You can imagine the cheap components that were used in them, a lot of them have just got broken and got lost in time. So when they do come up, they come up pretty pricey. You're looking at a decent one, decent collect, you know, condition box and all that, and maybe a few games. About 300 quid, if not more. So yeah, pretty pricey piece of kit. Now, so it's an emulation video, guys, because we are going to be jumping onto the beautiful, the gorgeous, he says, grabbing it, the RG351P. Now, obviously, this will work on the M as well, which is just the metal version of this. A beautiful version of this that I wish I'd got now. I do love this one as well. It's gorgeous. Looks like a switch. And it's got the switch bloody buttons, doesn't it? The sticks. But, yeah, we're going to be jumping back on this. He says, look, he's got it upside down. There we go. Shall we turn it round? There we go. Yeah. Back on here, guys. Using my fantastic mate. Oh, what a stellar guy. Wayne. Mr. Wummel Gaming himself. Fork of the Ark OS, guys. He's done a new update. So if you're running his currently, get it updated, guys, because it adds the Mega Duck Cougar Boy to the fantastic catalogue that you can play on here, guys. That is just freaking awesome. I mean, I was already so excited when he brought Supervision to this machine. Oh, and now he's brought the Cougar Boy, guys, because... There's one thing to be said for the Cougar Boy. Oh, <laughs> the Mega Duck. Shall we just keep calling it Mega Duck? And that is, it was slightly better graphics than the Supervision. Darker. Yeah, just, just, just slightly better, guys. Getting more towards the Game Boy. So, oh, to celebrate the fact that the wonderful, wonderful Wumble Gaming has done this, has done his update, and I think... He's been talking about it being the last one. We'll see about that because he said that before and then he went and did another one. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how uh, true that is, eh, Wayne? We'll see. Uh, when you discover another system, you can stick on the bloody thing. Like the Game Trek or something like that. Game, whatever it was called. You know, that weird German one. But anyway, yeah, maybe then you'll change your mind, eh? But yeah, <laughs> for now, it'll be the last one, I should think. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. So to celebrate the fact that he's done this, that he's added this, oh, the bloody fantastic Mega Duck to this machine just blew me away. So we had to do a special. So yes, will you join me, guys, as we take a look at six more Mega Duck games, guys? 
or Cougar Boy games if you're in South America. Hey, uh, hold on to your britches six times because this is going to be freaking awesome. And thank you, Wayne. Here we go. Right, here we go, guys, as we jump back on this gorgeous machine. Oh, yeah, the Ambernick RG351. Hey, beautiful machine. And of course, running the fantastic Wummo Gaming's uh, OS. His fork of the Arc OS. Right, let's go up to the new edition, shall we? What this video is all about. A fantastic, fantastic, brilliant, slightly wacky Mega Duck or Cougar Boy, as you may know it. As we go through here, you can see some of the other emulators that are on here and bits and bobs this is just a fantastic machine guys it really is and we keep on going and here we are guys we've reached mega duck as you can see it's just a black lettering at the moment no icon but that is already fantastic let's go in and have a look what we've got Right, so there we are guys, there we pull it in a bit so you can see a bit more. There is a lot of games here guys, we managed to track down the full ROM set, nearly the full ROM set. Yeah, brilliant. But yeah, it just keeps going and going guys. What we're going to do now is, I'm going to uh, pick a game, then we're going to pull in nice and close for you so you can see it properly. Right, back in a sec. There we go. Well, this is a wicked little game. This is really, really cool. Shame about the scan lines there, but uh, it does not look like that on the screen, guys. It looks perfect. As usual, the viewfinder lets me down. 93 session. Yeah, there we go. Let's press start. And get it out of the light there. Okay. So you can choose a slow or fast guys. We're going to go for slow of course. Bit of ear piercing music but don't let that put you off. Here we go, let's put it in a bit. Now the idea of this game is to turn those tiles around guys. Right, here we go. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a minute. I find it easier to just go around the edge at first. Watch out for the exploding enemies and what have you, and the ones that chase you down. So yeah, I've gone right around the perimeter. Now I'm going to start going up here. Watch out for those enemies, though, guys. Watch out for them. Alright, we are coming, the bloody enemies. Yeah. Go to there and then go down here, look and you'll see it turning round. There we go. And another one, come on, yeah, there's another one. And it opens a picture up, as you can see. Very cool. Simple but cool. There we go, we're doing well. Don't walk, go into the enemy, move back, and that's it, you're a bummer. Oh, he's going to get me, look, <laughs> he got me. Bummer, he got me, eh? That's alright, we should get him now. Hopefully, there goes another one, wicked. Nearly there guys, just two more. Excellent. And just the one down here. Let me done. Cool. Right, 
How cool was that? Wicked. All right, we'll do one more. Now it gets a bit more complicated, as you can see. What a fun little game, though. Oh, nice. Get done there. More enemies as well now. Where's he going to go now? There we go. Couple unlocked. Yeah, or a couple flipped, I should say. Oh, you bugger. There we go, that's that one. Cool. Now we're going to have to get away from him quick, but... Oh, he's got me. He's got me, guys. But, well, this is a cool game. Let's see if we can finish this off. Be good if we could. He's going to get me. Ooh, we just avoid doing that. We've got that one there, of course. There we go. Go over here. Be good if I can finish this one off. Before I move on. Oh, look, there's another one coming now. Bad guy. Oh, he's, he's after me, look. Ah, oh, I got out of his way quick. There we go. I've got one more to get, guys. One more little bit. Oh, no, and this one here. Another little bit there. And then that one up there. We've got a timer there. Get the timer. Yeah, wicked. That gives us a bit longer. Cool. And it freezes them up. Just for a minute. There we go. Wicked. Done. Cool. That is wicked. Look at that picture. Right. Okay, that is a fun, one fantastic game, guys. Let's move on to the next. Screen, terrible. Oh, well. Yeah, this is going to be quite small to see because it's one of those push-the-block games with tiny icons. Listen to that music. Right, here we go. Enough of that music. <laughs> right, so you can see it's quite simple, guys. Push the blocks. One of them. Some people consider them to be extremely boring. I think they're kind of fun, really. Well, you get your password there. That's pretty cool. And go to the second one. Right, okay, well, we'll do this one first, don't we? Like that, that's it. Around. You just gotta work out the order in which you want to do them. There you get all three over there. That's it nicely down in place. There we go. And we'll go back around and get the others. That's it, that one next. Quite simple really, isn't it? Yeah, you can see why it's not everybody's kind of thing. But I enjoy it, I think it's pretty damn cool. There's the next password, we'll do one more, shall we? Yeah. Let's see how hard this one is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. So if you push that one down, mm, that ain't going to work out. So, 
All we have to do is go there, I suppose. One more? No. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Go around here. See, it does get trickier, guys. You just got to be careful. Like, I've just completely and utterly snookered myself, probably. And I'll put him down there, maybe. There we go. And that one around there? No, because that won't go up now. Ah, see? Completely messed it up. Oh dear. Already. Yeah, no way of recovering that now, look. <laughs> no way whatsoever. I think it might be time to move on, eh? <laughs> Brilliant game, though. Here we go, guys. <laughs> like I said, very, very familiar. Very familiar, I'm sure. That music. Yeah, I think we'll move on from that. <laughs> Again, bit ear piercing the music. Look at this, look. Tons of bloody things that like targets you're going for here. And flags to coins like this one here. Oh, he says trying to get over there. There we go. Watch out for the other cars, of course, because they will kill you. Don't go for those triangles. You crash into them. Right, you can see a flag over there. Love the way the music suddenly speeds up. <laughs> oh, here he comes, the bugger. Trying to follow me. Let's lose him as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. He's coming after me, man. Oh, you yeah, bugger. Go away. Let's look down at the map to see anything that you still need to pick up. Like that one. Oh, there's another one. What have we got there then? Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Anything up here? Yeah, there's another one there. Around there quick. Oh, that was two of them coming now. Two right on my tail. Oh, that was bound to happen, wasn't it? Typical. Let's see if we've got else to. Find here. Put on this bit here for a change. There's got to be stuff here. Have a look at the map. Yeah, I'm sure there's still stuff there. Oh! Well, that's alright, guys. We shall move on to the next game while he still goes there. The kid. Another Cratonic one, 1993. That music. There we go. Right, so basically, this might be very familiar again to people. There's very similar games like this around. There we go. And you'll see in a minute, I'll let them come up a bit more. Come on, you. There we come. There they come. Can make them come a bit faster. You can see what you've got to do is get rid of them. Oh, there you bugger. That's it. This one. Down here. Oh, I went too far then. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, 
Right here. So the bigger you make it, the bigger it gets. Like that. What have I just done? Oh no. The viewfinders are playing me up again, guys. That's the trouble. And we'll go up here. Do the same again. There we go. Nice one. Ooh, game over already. Okay, we'll play it again. There we go. Try a bit better this time then. Put that down. Cool. Pull them in a bit more. There we go. Try and get them right this time. Let's not go into now because I've already gone too far. Look. Oh dear. Way too far. Two more there, two more there. Now I've wasted time over here, of course. Very may, eh? Oh, you bugger, pulling them in. You can see how fun this is, guys. This is so flipping fun. It's unreal. Very easy to mislay, though. That's the only trouble. Very easily done. As you can see here. And when it gets too close, of course it's game over. And we've got rid of that one at least. Oh, you're bummed on putting it in the wrong place again. All because of that blinking viewfinder. Oh, you sod. Oh. Right, one more time, come on. Do better than that. Come on, concentrate. Don't worry about the bloody viewfinder. Oh, yeah, but I put it in the wrong place again now. There's not as many this time. There we go, I've got rid of that one. Oh, I always go for the one that's closest to you, of course. I think I got rid of it nicely there. Yeah, that's it. Put one down there. And it's two all the way, isn't it? Right, no. Whether I'll get there in time or not, it doesn't matter. It'll be really quick, and that's the problem with the viewfinder. You cannot be quick. Well, I think there's three there, yeah. Oh, it's coming close. You can always tell when it's coming close, guys, because that's when that music changes. Get it quick. Oh, you bugger. No, it's not doing it, guys. Oh, just in time. But how cool is this game? Very challenging. Oh, look at that. Bugger. Mm, I've got to get all these guys, all these. Not sure I'm going to do it in time. Ooh, just in time. Wow. That really was just in time. Yeah, I'm not going to lose this one, guys, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, lost it, guys. Oh, but what a fantastic game. Right, moving on to the next one. Here we go with Snake Roy, guys. Stuart Ashen's, uh, yeah, he's made this legendary. <laughs> right, music and a half there. Here we go, guys. Sorry that you can see me in the background. Cool, one of the longest uh, <laughs> intros there. He slowly walks up to the king. Oh, 
Oh, it's a woman, huh? There we go. Ooh, swearing. Oh, now he's been turned into a snake. Oh, look at him. Oh, dear. Recognize that music? <laughs> and they're cheeky, just taking the music from other things. Doing that. Right, okay, so here we go then. So it's basically Snake, isn't it? Yeah. Like on the Nokia. Looks a bit cooler than the original Snake, anyway. If I hit the wall, I suppose I die. Well, maybe not so much. Oh yes, you hit the wall, you die. There's the answer to that one. Okay. Go on in. Get on with it. Oh, I hit the wall already. That's interesting. Right, there we go. So yeah, basically snake, like what you had on the 3310, the Nokia, only looking a lot nicer, of course. And that's obviously the door you go through at the end. Oh, did I crash? No, I didn't. Good. Because we're doing fairly all right in the moment. One more to get after this. And I suppose we've got to try and aim through the door. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right, let's do another one. Ooh, that's a bit more elaborate, isn't it? Only slightly. Seems to be some sort of spinny coins. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh dear. Oh well, that is fantastic guys, but we need to move on to the next one. Here we go guys, for the last title, Solomon's Treasure. What a blinder this is. Very hard for a blinder. Listen to that music. 93 again. Here we go. Easy, yes. Of course it is. Uh, level one. Right, so basically you're that Jeep at the top then you've got like a grappling hook. Now you can move it back so you get out of the way of the enemy. But you can also do this and eat them. 
So if they hit your hook on any other point apart from your head, it's game over, guys. Like this. There we go. And uh, yeah, you have to start again. I think got rid of that one. Okay. Just pull it back and try and get as much as you can while you can, I suppose. They're going to get me now, obviously. Yeah. You only got so many attempts, guys, and then you uh, obviously die. It's not showing up the, uh, the ground very well on the viewfinder, unfortunately. There's a hell of a lot more ground there that you can't get around, and you can't see it at all. It's washed out, which is a real bloody shame. So I'm going to have to do it on the actual system itself. And i tell you what, it looks jet black, not blue at all. So yeah, once again, the whole thing has gone there slightly wrong here because of the bloody viewfinder. Oh dear. There we go, here comes another ghost, or whatever that is. This game, hey. Oh, you bugger, here we go. Is it goddess? Nice one. Can we get that one? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Gotta try and get them before they get us, see? That is the trouble. We go over down here. Go that way, oh, you got me. Yeah, game over, guys. To be honest, there wasn't much point trying to show you much of that because you're not seeing it. Oh, never mind. That were my final thoughts. Well, there we go again, guys. This little beauty has a shone again. Shone. What a fantastic little machine this is. And I'll tell you what. When you are an absolute star, they play beautifully. And I'll tell you what, it's such a surprise how good some of the games are on the Mega Duck Cougar Boy, guys. They're awesome. I mean, all six of those games are damn bloody fine. Especially when you compare them to Game Boy games. They actually stand up to them a bit. They're slightly graphically better than the supervision games even though you know they were from the same type of marketplace you know the hong kong originals as we call them uh, yeah fantastic and i never thought i'd be playing mega duck games on the ambernet guys a line of a uh, system obviously it's only this one at the moment um but yeah oh one more gaming one more gaming what can I say? You absolute and utter diamond. I am so chuffed. I mean, I was already absolutely over the moon when I could play Supervision games on here, but now I can play Mega Duck games. It is absolutely incredible. Oh, wow. And so, so deserved of its own video. Just showing that off, guys, that Wayne added this to the Fantastic Fork that he did of the Arc OS guys. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Right. With that, I'm going to wrap things up, guys. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the like on and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. Don't forget, guys, to check the wonderful Wayne Wummel Gaming's YouTube channel. There is tons of videos on there, guys. Tons. Absolutely blinding channel. Yeah, absolutely blinding. Not just, uh, you know, emulation as such. He's got lots of other videos as well, guys. So, yeah, head over there. Don't hesitate. What a fantastic guy and what a fantastic channel. And then, of course, I've got my groups, haven't I? You know, I always wrap these videos up with it, guys. So yeah, do you love emulation like this, like this beautiful machine here? Because if you do, I've got a fantastic group on Facebook for you. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group. That me and my bestie there set up quite some time ago, guys. The wonderful Wayne Momo Gaming is an admin on there as well. So what a stellar tech help guy to have on there. Uh, tons of videos, guys. Um, as I said, tech help videos. 
system reviews, system unboxings, emulation performance videos like this one. So yeah, if you just love emulation, link below guys, head over and we'd love to see you. And then I also have my UK Crown Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything to do with gaming. From the dawn of gaming with phone machines to PS5s and everything in between. So if you just love gaming, what a fantastic place to be. Tons of videos because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day as well. And again guys, Evergrowing Mumba Base. Fantastic admin team. So if you just love gaming, link below again. Head over, ask to join and I'll accept you in no time. And then finally, I have a Patreon. Another video for you to watch there guys. Explaining why I decided to set it up in the first place. So give that a little watch. And then see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, I'm going to love me and leave you. And see if we does in. Tschüss and goodbye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.